Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my YouTube and Rumble channels. I would like to share another word with you from the Lord this morning. As you know, I've just undergone cataract eye surgery on one eye and am scheduled to have surgery on the other eye next month. So far, it seems all is well. So I thank you all for your prayers. Thank you once again for following my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please take a minute to do so and to click the notification bell for notification of further videos. Today is April the 24th of 2023. I hope this word today will bless you as you hear it. This word is quite lengthy, and so without an introduction, I'll go right into it. It is titled, You Will Walk with Authority. I'll begin with scripture. Luke 10, verse 19. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. Nothing will harm you. This scripture from Luke is one of the many where the Lord speaks about the authority he is giving to those who would believe upon his name. I'll begin the word. This is a time of preparation, says the Lord. I am putting my network into place. The structure is changing. Those who ruled and reigned are being taken out of position and I am raising up those of my choosing to take their places. You will see this right before your eyes. No longer will the ungodly rule, but they will be taken out and removed. I am raising up an army of warriors in this day who will not be intimidated by the enemy. Though the odds are against them, they shall overcome, and they shall be victorious, for the Lord has appointed them to go forth in his power and anointing to slay every giant in the land, and they shall move in and possess the land. I am changing you, says the Lord. I am birthing into you stamina and strength to stand in adversity. I am a consuming fire, and I am consuming everything in you that is of no use to me. You will see your heart's desires changed. Your focus will be turned in a new direction. No longer will you be pulled in many directions, but I am narrowing down your sights. You will focus on the task at hand and not be distracted by others around you. You will never be the same again. You will no longer walk in the desires of the flesh, for I am cutting away the flesh, and you shall walk in the fullness of my spirit. I am doing a great work within you. I have slain you through and through. You have been willing to give up your life, and I am bringing you into life. You will walk in humility. You will marvel at the unquenchable joy and love that wells up from deep within you. Your countenance shall radiate with the joy of the Lord. Peace shall encompass you as a blanket, and nothing will be able to shake you. Those who oppose you will recognize that you are unmovable. They will see that the Lord is your God. They will notice the life of Christ in you and flowing through you. Songs of love and joy are being birthed into my people, says the Lord, and they shall be released into ministry. Everything will fall into place, and they will be ready to go forth. I am releasing abundant life. It will well up from deep within. It will not be copied from others, but will have its origin in me, and it will flow forth from deep within 
to accomplish what it is sent out to do. This is my word to you. Release unto others what I have given you. Let it flow forth as a sweet fragrance to bring life to those around you. You are being used as vessels to carry my presence, to bring life to those who walk in darkness. I am ordaining you to sit with kings in high places of authority. I have called and ordained you to walk with princes. I am taking you up to higher ground. You will scale the heights with great ease, for my angels have charge over you, and you shall not stumble or fall, but you shall be lifted up on high. Great are the ways of the Lord. Great are his promises to those who love him and abide in him. You are fishers of men. Your mission is to go to the lost, to bring the light of Christ. I am preparing you. I am equipping you. And soon you will be sent out, says the Lord. Go to the nations. Take the light of Christ to the far corners of the earth. Do not hesitate, but go. I am sending you. You will function in full capacity in the giftings I have imparted into you. This is the time. This is the hour. Every high and lofty thing will come down with the words you speak, and nothing can prevent my will from being accomplished through my people in this day. It is a day like no other. Only good shall flow forth over the land. The breath of life is being blown into every creature. Joy is in the house of the Lord. Great joy is in the lives of the people of God. The floodgates of heaven are pouring forth abundant rains. The ground is being soaked with the life-giving virtue of the waters. Every foul thing is being evicted out of the lives of the people, and they shall no longer be bound and made fruitless. I am increasing the winds and the waves of my spirit throughout the earth, says the Lord. No one and nothing will hinder the work of my spirit in this day. I am moving forth in power to break down every tower and wall of resistance. Great is the Lord, and great is his goodness toward those who ravel in his love. Keep your heart in all diligence. Stay close to me. I am your source of life. Life is found in no other. I have called you to be a model to those around you, to be a light in their midst, and the light is shining forth into the darkness, and I am increasing the light. I am removing every bit of darkness from your soul. You shall be filled with the light of Christ and shine forth his beauty and radiance. The glory of the Lord shall be your portion in the land of the living. Revelation is being released into the lives of my servants. Great understanding of the things of God is being poured out to the people. Those who are called and appointed to labor for the Lord are rejoicing in the abundance being released from the storehouses of the Lord. Revelation upon revelation is being released. Dreams and interpretation of dreams is a stream flowing through the land. The ways of the Lord are being made known to the people. The hearts of the people have been turning to the Lord, and the Lord is pleased with those who have traded in the riches of the temporal life for the abundant riches of the kingdom of God. Joy and peace shall be theirs who are willing to let go of the life of the flesh and enter into the fullness of the Spirit. Every good gift is available to those who relinquish self-life and undergo the sword of the Lord in death to the fleshly nature.
Those who have embraced death to self are being brought to life and transformed into the image of Christ. I am extending the rod of authority to you, and you will reign and rule with great ease over the land that I am giving you, says the Lord. The keys to the kingdom are being released to you. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So great shall be the authority by which you function. So great shall be the dexterity in which you move. You will overcome every obstacle, every foe that raises its head. You shall conquer with great precision, just as David conquered Goliath. I am giving you the stones. They are smooth and deadly to the enemy. They shall fly through the air with great accuracy and speed to bring down the giants. They are unsuspected by the enemy, for though their form is humble and of no reputation, they are great weapons of warfare in the hands of the Lord's anointed. Continue in the way shown to you. Do not let your foot slip off the path. Remain faithful to the Lord's call on your life in this day. Do not back down, but press forward. I am taking you into the land. It shall be yours, and you shall reign in full capacity to execute righteousness to the people, says the Lord. This word today encourages us that the Lord is truly building his church and that the gates of hell will not prevail against it. And the Lord is encouraging us not to give up, to press in and to go forward because he is using us as his vessels of light to touch the nations. He has given us authority in his name to trample the enemy underfoot, to speak his word and bind up those things that are not of the Lord. And as David was successful to take Goliath down, we too will be successful using all the weapons the Lord has given us to stand against the enemy to take the enemy down, and to possess the land. Just as David used a handful of stones, which seemed very insignificant to the enemy, the enemy was caught off guard by them, because they were anointed with the power of God. We are being reminded in this word today that it's not by our might or our power that we have the victory, but by the power of God that flows in and through us. As we crucify our flesh, as we die to our selfish nature, the Lord will fill us up with his power, with his authority, and cause us to be overcomers, taking back all the enemy has stolen. And so I hope this word today encourages you. If you feel weak and insignificant, all the Lord is asking is that we submit to him, undergo his consuming fire to remove those things out of us that are not of him. He will sharpen our swords and raise us up as warriors in his kingdom. Thank you for listening today. May the Lord bless you, encourage you, strengthen you, teach you, and may he reveal the depths of his truth to each one of us. Have a great afternoon, and we'll talk to you again in the next video. Love and blessings to you all. Bye for now.